Hey what is going on guys Joe here and in today's video I'm going to be showing you how you can do photogrammetry just by using your iPhone. I have an iPhone 6s but pretty much any iPhone or any camera can do this uh, kind of technique. Um, just going to jump into the garden now take a few photos of an object and jump into the computer and show you how it then uses simple 2D photos to then generate a 3D mesh and model and then you can put it into a game using Unity or 3D software such as Cinema 4D. So yeah, let's jump straight into the garden. Right, okay, so these are the images taken from my iPhone. As you can see, you literally have to take one photo um, at a time going around your object, getting as much detail as possible. But for an iPhone, the quality is not bad at all, it's great. So imagine what you can, what results you could get with, say, like a DSLR camera. And then just to get try and get some more detail, like take um, some images more close. Right. So now after after the software, I mean I'm not connected to the internet currently because my Xbox is plugged in downloading games. Um, Recap Photo is the software I'm using by Autodesk. It's absolutely the best software I've used in comparison to Agisoft PhotoScan. With Autodesk I think you have like a limit of 100 photos. With Agisoft you can use as many photos but still the results I've had with that software have just been nothing compared to this. I've used like 30 photos before in Autodesk Recap Photo and the results have just been absolutely incredible. I've not had a single um, negative experience with this software whatsoever so once it's calculated and that it's all cloud based so it does take a while to like process and upload and stuff but once it's downloaded you can then view your object in um, the 3d builder on windows so look how amazing that turned out you can sort of zoom in and then it just looks absolutely incredible like it did a really good job so like I said imagine what a DSLR camera could do and this is just from an iPhone it is amazing right okay so now I'm gonna come off the Windows PC and just jump into Cinema 4D on the Mac and show you what I made um, simply by importing this 3D object into a 3D program so you can like add lighting and shadows and then just put it into a, a basic scene so yeah be back in a minute guys alright welcome back guys so now we're inside Cinema 4D I've already imported my model in the software so now we can pretty much do anything with this um, I'm just simply going to create a plane and an infinite light though just so we can get some shadows and stuff and then let's just put a bit of a warm ish light to it create an area shadow and then render that out quickly and just how incredible is that though just from a photo from your iPhone you can create some like yeah take pictures of anything but it can't be reflective because um, the software will have a tough time calculating the data and all that but it looks awesome let's see if we can get close close up there the information on the textures though is quite high so that's why it's pretty slow at rendering it but it's still good look at that incredible but here's um, something I actually made yesterday so just gonna take a moment to render I created like a little scene these objects here, these were downloaded from Sketchfab. I recommend anybody 
um, go check out that website because it's absolutely amazing. Lots of free download downloadable three D models, um, such as these garden gnomes which I got. But there's there is anything on there. You can get characters, buildings, plants, walls. This wall's from there as well. It's just amazing. So I'm just gonna turn off global illumination because it's gonna take forever to render. Um, in fact, I do have a photo, so I'll just be back in a moment. All right, so this is the rendered image with global illumination. Just look how incredible that is. So, from what you can remember, the from taking the images on your phone, 2D photos, creating it into a 3D object, 3D model, so you can then put it into any 3D software, such as Cinema 4D, Maya, 3ds Max, but I don't know how to use them softwares. But you can also put this into Unity for those who are wanting to create their own assets for making their own video games. The possibilities are just endless. This is just uh, because I'm a beginner and I'm literally just learning the software, and yeah, I'm just finding it amazing um, being able to do something like this and already having the tool to um, create something such as this just by using your phone the uh, the software might be a bit of an issue for you guys to get but uh, there is a way around of getting it if you're a student otherwise it is very expensive to pay like a monthly subscription for it but yeah I cannot wait to get more into this technique with photogrammetry um, just don't know what else to take photos of really because I've got nothing else in the garden I've been out I went out for a walk yesterday did another experiment with the tree the results were fantastic again um, in fact let me just see if I can show you one more example so this is actually the tree that I was just explaining when I went out for a walk and you can just see how incredible it managed to like capture it I didn't want to do the whole tree I just wanted to capture the stump of it and it looks amazing so again let's just quickly add a light so we can get some nice cheeky shadows on it and a quick plane there we go render Look at that it just looks incredible it is it's amazing just from a 2d photo to now a 3d object in 3d space and you can have objects interact with this you can create um, collider bodies rigid bodies and have other objects just interact with the world in 3d space it's just amazing uh, I've got nothing else to really show you guys however there is something else that I'm learning to do which is 3d compositing again taking a 2d photo and then using realistic lighting and reflections I have a 360 camera the Samsung 2017 uh, gear 360 version and let me just show you the result I got so this is the photo the end result I was out on a, whilst I was out on a walk um, as you can see in the reflection of the spheres here, um, I, how do I explain it? So in, in Cinema 4D, you create a sky, a sky object, and then with your 360 degree photo, um, that creates like a, a 360 degree image in Cinema 4D. I'm not very good at explaining things, so I do apologize. I am a beginner at this, so. Um, I really do suck at explaining this. So yeah, that's how I've got the reflections inside them spheres. It looks incredible. And then obviously I've created the light and stuff, the shadows, and it looks really good. Did a good job of it, to be fair. Again, you can get these objects free. Uh, I can't remember where I got the Kylo Ren one from. I think it was facepunch.com. Pfizer, this was from Sketchfab. And this mm, might be from like free3d.com. There's a lot of free um, 3D model software, I mean not software, websites on the internet. So feel free to check them out. 
and yeah, th there's a ton. There's a ton of th uh, free 3D models that you can access. This is actually the 300, the 360 degree photo that I took for that previous image I just shown you. Um, I tried creating a HDR, so what I did is I exported two versions of the image. This one, obviously, the exposure is low. Then the other one was just a normal um, exposure photo. I don't know if it worked. I mean, the 360 camera isn't great for doing stuff like this. You probably want a more high-end camera and do like proper bracketed photos to get you three sort of um, three different images. Obviously, overexposed, underexposed, and you want like a normal exposed photo. Um, so yeah, I use that to create the reflections and the lighting to get this result. Oh, that was because that was exported from Cinema 4D and then with a bit of Photoshop boosted up the clarity a little bit. doesn't look amazing. Still looks pretty cool though. That probably looks more realistic, right? Still cool though. Um, these again, it's just something I've been messing about with Cinema 4D. You can get these from a website that I can't remember. If I do remember, I'll put it in the description. But you can get free 3D models of Super Mario from Mario Odyssey and any kind of video game. Well, not any video game, but there's a lot on there from video games and it's just an awesome website so yeah thanks for watching you guys hopefully i didn't buy too much just want to show you guys the, the kind of stuff that i'm up to and what it what else i'm trying to learn because i'm yeah i don't like to be a one-trick pony there's a ton of things i just want to learn and yeah learn new skills and photogrammetry is the next thing amazing technique for creating 3d models just from a series of 2D photos, all from an iPhone, any camera, but everybody's got a phone pretty much these days, so if you've got a mobile phone, you can do it. Thanks for watching, you guys. Hope you did enjoy the video. Do leave a like, and yeah, any comments, feel free to uh, ask me a question. See you all, guys, in the next video.